Hearts have done it. We're being spoiled. It feels like Christmas five months early. They've made their second signing in the space of a week. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland TV. It feels like yesterday I was making a video on Hearts' newest signing. And that's because it was yesterday, albeit I was a few days out of date. But don't worry. I'm right on this one because Hearts have made another signing and this time we have signed defender Frankie Kent from Peterborough United for an undisclosed fee. So obviously we don't know what the fee is, it's your classic Scottish football fee. I've been saying for a while now, when are Hearts going to splash the cash? When are we going to bring in that big £20 million signing? This is an undisclosed fee. I don't think it's £20 million but it could be... Anywhere around the ballpark, maybe a couple of hundred thousand. But Ryan Kent, or not Ryan Kent, Frankie Kent, Jesus Christ. I wouldn't mind Ryan Kent, to be honest. If we could get prime Ryan Kent, I I'd take him too. But Frankie Kent, 27 years old, English, has joined, obviously, from Peterborough, who finished sixth last season in League One of England. So, not bad. It's not a bad standard. It's alright. It's decent. He made 49 appearances last season for Peterborough. Hearts have said to beat off stiff competition for his signature. So, it looks like there was multiple clubs interested, but Hearts have uh, managed to make it happen. Now, he did play for Arsenal back in the day when he was young, very young. Uh, he was obviously deemed not good enough for Arsenal and released by them at the age of 16, but here's hoping that he can be good enough for Hearts. Now, Stephen Naismith was speaking on the club website. He said, quote, He was a big part of Peterborough's recent success in winning promotion, and we believe that he can make himself a success at Tynecastle. He has an aggressive centre-half in the way that he defends and starts phases of play, and his leadership skills stand out. End of quote. Well, I hope you're right, Stevie. Big Stevie Naismith. I hope he can be a big part of Hearts' success at Tynecastle. And I hope he is an aggressive centre-back. And I hope he does start and defend phases of play. I can't say too much because similar to the last signing, I've no idea who this guy is. I'd literally never heard of him until I realised Hearts had signed him today. I didn't even know Hearts were interested in him. So I'll just have to wait and see. But you know what? I can't complain. It's good to see us make signings. I was beginning to panic. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I was thinking, what the hell? Why are we not making signings? Why are we not inquiring about people? Why are we not doing anything? But like I said, in the past week now, we've made two signings. Could be good. Might not be so good. We'll just have to wait and see when they play the first game. We won't, we won't have to wait long, guys, because the, the football season is about to go underway. I cannot wait. I would like to get a couple more players in by then, maybe get an established player, a player that we actually know, someone that we can actually get hyped about. Not saying these two players aren't good, and who knows, they could turn out to be very good, but right now, I'm going to play it cool guys. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to hype them up, I don't want to say they're going to be fantastic, I don't want to say they're going to be great, and they come in and they're absolute garbage, so we'll just have to wait and see. But I am excited that they've made signings, so yeah, hopefully we can get a few more. And uh, if there is any signings, guys, I will keep you updated here. But, yeah, no, better late than never. We're beginning to get transfers in. No more transfers going out at the moment. Will anybody leave? I'm not convinced as long as Shankland doesn't go anywhere. That is all I care about. So, Lauren Shankland, you're going nowhere, son. Just stay at Hearts for the rest of your career. Retire at Hearts. You should do it. We should just kidnap him, man. Fuck it. Let's put an ankle bracelet on Shankland, and if he ever leaves Tynecastle, he just blows up. There you go. That's what, well, that, that would screw us for away games. Maybe, maybe not do that. We'll find out a better way. There's got to be a better way that we can keep Shankland here at heart. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Being on Scotland TV. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'm back tomorrow when our transfer signing. I can't wait, man. Two signings in about four days. I'm buzzing. Can we get a third signing? Can we get a third signing? Can we get a third signing? Come on. We've got three managers. Hopefully, we can get a third signing. That's what I'm thinking, guys. Good things coming, freeze. We'll find it soon. Till next time. Peace.